This year, on average, there have been two non-fatal shooting victims per day in the city of Milwaukee. That's according to police. Well, a group supporting violent survivors wants the community to realize that means two people every two days lives or has potentially had their lives changed. TMJ Force Rebecca Clough shares a Milwaukee man's story. Even the most simple acts, like getting the mail, takes extra time for Grover Williams. The 52-year-old is paralyzed from the waist down after he was shot nearly 15 years ago. And I answered the door, got shot in the neck, um, pushed me back. Grover says at that time, he was not living a good life. He was involved in crime and had served time in prison. He says he didn't make the changes he should have. I've just lived the street life and um, it caught up with me. Grover woke up in Freighter Hospital unable to move from a bullet that tore through his body. I went in, went down and severed my spine. Grover is just one of thousands of gunshot victims living in Milwaukee. This year alone, Milwaukee police say there have been 513 gunshot victims. That's up 6% from this time last year. Each of those victims are people like Grover. It's why Independence First, the nonprofit that works to connect people with disabilities to resources, is highlighting nearly a dozen people, including Grover, who have become paralyzed through violence. We are giving uh, survivors of violence an opportunity to share their stories. Independence First created an exhibit called Empower Gallery. Two local artists have created works of art with violent survivors. We really just want to start a conversation about how we can support um, survivors of violence after the violence. When people get shot, they don't know that, you know, you hear it on the news where it say uh, either they did or they got shot, but they don't talk about things that come along with it. You know, some people are like myself in a wheelchair. Some people have lost a limb. Just because, you know, you survive doesn't mean that you're not going to still go through it. After the shooting, Grover made it his mission to rebuild his life. He says it took three years of physical therapy and dedication, but he regained the use of his hands, moved out of a rehab center to live independently, and raise his daughter. He now tries to give back to others who have ended up in a wheelchair like he did through violence, but he also wants other kids out there who are like him to know this is where they could end up. When you go to prison, you just don't go to prison. You take your mother, you take your father, you take your kids if you have it. If I could tell um, the younger version of me, I would tell what my parents used to always tell me. Knock it off. The Empower Gallery art exhibit opens tonight at No Studios in Milwaukee at 630. It will also include a community talk about violence. If you want to attend, the event is free, but they do suggest a donation of $10. We have all the information on the event on our website at TMJ4.com. Reporting in Milwaukee, Rebecca Clough, TMJ4 News.